Hey y'all and welcome back to What's Up With Tori. I just wanted to give y'all an update on how things have been going on. And so I've been trying to figure out what my final grade is. So I called my school, they put me on hold and then someone ended up hanging up on me. So I said, you know what, let me just go up there real quick. Like, let me just hop on this train. Like it, I ain't got nothing else to do with my day off. Let me go up there. So I took the train to my university and went to my school's financial aid advisement office. And, you know, I go to the office and I'm like, hey, I'm just trying to figure out what my final grade is. I can't see my final grade because I have a hold on my account. And I'm panicking because I'm thinking the financial hold on my account is really, really big, like a, a humongous amount of money that I owe them. These people gonna tell me I have a $5 hold on my account. And it was like, girl, you better pay that $5. And by the way, you passed your chemistry class, you got a C. And I was like, what? Y'all, so the summer class that I was taking this summer, I passed. I passed chemistry 1212, and that officially means that I'm on the trajectory to graduate in May 2024. <gasps> when I tell y'all, I am so excited, and I feel like y'all have no idea. Y'all have no idea how hard it was for me to simply just go to school and just get my basic necessities met while I was in school. I was studying, I was up all night, up all night y'all. I'm talking about drinking coffee like it's water to keep me up. Okay, I'm not playing, like I worked my butt off for that grade, all right? And, and, I, and I squeezed out every single last resource that I could. And y'all have no idea how, how good it feels to just be one step closer to my dream. Closer to my dream, I can feel it going higher, higher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and not to mention, I have been going through a mourning phase. I've been mourning the death of the relationship that I'll never have with my mom. You know, I'll never have that relationship of me getting dressed to go meet my mom at 5 p.m. to go to Nobu. Oh, I'm going shopping with my mom on this day. She's taking me shopping, so like, I'm gonna be busy on Wednesday. And I think I'm just mourning that. I'm mourning the idea and I'm officially giving up hope. And that hurts. <laughs> to have to really come to that realization that someone will never grow and heal in the way that they need to so that you all can have the relationship that you are supposed to have and be able to move forward. So I have to come to terms with, I'm gonna have to heal on my own, obviously, to accept that my mother will never heal. She'll never take accountability. She'll never see the problem. She'll never stop chasing male validation. You know, even if it's from a guy that has nothing to offer her, literally, this, and, and this idea of her not wanting to be alone, and she ended up getting so caught up in this man. That so that hurts. Like, it really just hurts to just realize that since I was like eight or nine years old, since my stepfather came into the picture, my mom has essentially chosen men over my brother and I my entire life. <laughs> But at the same time, it makes me feel good to know that I'm out here still succeeding and knocking my mother freaking goals out of the water. I'm slapping these demons with my chair. Okay, up, oh, swing. All right, that's what I'm doing to these demons. It's trying to stop me from accomplishing my goals. Just like that man in that Alabama brawl. All right. So yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know your girl is climbing up the ladder. All right, I'm gonna be a legend. Listen, listen, this is, I'm a legend in the making, y'all, I swear. I'm gonna look back at this shit and be like, damn, I was really being made in the moments. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get me a little drink a drink because I need to sip me a little sip a sip so I can celebrate this this celebratory moment in my life all right i'm moving on to the next level and by the way y'all i think i failed this class twice or maybe i failed it once but i withdrew from it twice i think i withdrew from this class twice before and then i failed it before i got like a d in it 
and yeah so for me to actually pass this time thank you god because that was nothing but you nothing but you thank you thank you so much whenever i think to myself that i'm alone i'm really not i'm really not so anyways y'all stay tuned for the next video y'all Tell me where I must be why you're